Hi friends, how are you today? Today, I want to take you on a special walk, a peaceful walk. Today, we're going to pretend that we're walking out into the countryside with the disciples of Jesus. And today we are going to remember a special moment in the life of Jesus and in the lives of his friends, the disciples. When Jesus, after he had been raised again to new life, when he went back into heaven to be with God the Father and to reign on high, we call that moment the ascension, the ascension. You see, we remember Jesus had died. He had been buried, but he had been raised again to new life and appeared to his disciples and they were overjoyed to see him again. They enjoyed the special gift of having Jesus with them on earth again for another 40 days. And in those times, he appeared to them at various moments. He wasn't with them all the time. Maybe he was getting them ready for when he wouldn't physically in his body always be with them. But he appeared to them over those 40 days. And they had special moments when he continued to teach them, to explain to them all that had been accomplished, all that had happened when he died on the cross for our sins and when he conquered death by coming back to life, by coming out of the grave, he conquered sin and death. He explained all those things to them again. And he tried to prepare them for when he would go away again. And yet he said, I will not leave you. I will be with you. And he promised them what? That he would send them a helper, a special helper, the Holy Spirit. He even said, it will be better for me to go away because then you can have this helper, the Holy Spirit, my presence to be with you always, all the time. And with all of my followers and all people who come to trust in me. Well, Jesus led them on that last day when he was physically with them on earth, he led them to a special place called the Mount of Olives. It was in the village of Bethany. And this was an important place for Jesus when he was on earth, during the time when he went around teaching and helping people, there were moments special moments when Jesus and his disciples were on that Mount of Olives when he was teaching and even on the night when Jesus was betrayed and arrested when he knew he was going to die he prayed in a special garden that was on the Mount of Olives if you look behind me you'll actually see a glimpse <laughs> of an olive tree back there the Mount of Olives was a quiet place and it got its name because of the olive trees that were there. Quieter probably than what you hear now, and you probably hear some traffic in the background. They would not have had those sounds then. It would have been quiet. So take a walk with me into the countryside. And as you do, think about how the disciples were feeling. What might they have been thinking as they walked to meet and be with Jesus in that special place, the Mount of Olives. It was a, not a long walk out of Jerusalem, just a couple of miles. And they probably enjoyed the beauty as they walked. They were probably treasuring the memories of those moments they had had with Jesus again in those 40 days when he was again with them, physically present with them. What would it be like when they couldn't see Jesus anymore? And yet he said that he would be with them through the Holy Spirit. Remember, he even breathed on them and said, on some of them, and said, I give you the Holy Spirit. 
The Holy Spirit. You can't see the Holy Spirit. But they knew it was like the presence of God living in them. The presence of Jesus living in them. Like the very breath of God inside of them. The energy of God. That was the Holy Spirit. And so they walked. Maybe they ducked under tree limbs. Can you hear the birds? Maybe they saw some sheep. There are no sheep here. And they climbed that hill to the Mount of Olives where Jesus knew he would be with them one last time. It must have been a special place for Jesus too. And on that Mount of Olives, Jesus would speak to them and bless them. And he would make them a promise and give them a mission. I hope you enjoyed our walk. Let's learn from the Bible. Hi friends. Well, we are back at my house and I want to talk to you some more about the moment when Jesus ascended into heaven. I hope that you enjoyed our imaginary walk to the Mount of Olives today. Well, just to remind us of that beautiful setting, I brought back some olive branches from that olive tree near my house. And I also have some olives here with me since they grow on olive trees. So if you eat an olive this week, you can think of our story. When the disciples arrived at the Mount of Olives, Jesus appeared to them there. Jesus wanted to talk to them and to give them instructions to tell them what they needed to do when he went away. He said, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. You see, Jesus was telling them that they were going to be an important part of God's mission to save the world. They were going to get to have a part in God's mission from long ago, from the Old Testament, back in the time of Adam and Eve. God had a mission to make his world new, to rid his world of sin and death. They would be a part of that mission to bring life and truth throughout God's world. He said, beginning in Jerusalem, the city where they lived, to Judea and Samaria, which were next door, and then far away places, they would take the good news of Jesus. That was their mission. But Jesus also told them that they needed to wait to start their mission. Why wait to start the mission? Jesus said, do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. He wanted them to wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit so that they would have the power that they needed to continue the work of Jesus. They needed that presence of God, the energy of God, the Holy Spirit living in them in order to do the work that they needed to do and to tell others across the world about Jesus. Because you see, it was not going to be easy. At times, it was going to be very hard to be a part of God's mission to save the world. After Jesus had told them all these things, he did something very special. He raised his hands and he began to get, bless them, to give them a blessing. Do you remember when we're in church or when you're watching church online, at the end of the service, the pastor raises his hands and gives a benediction or a blessing from God. This is what Jesus did, but they received this blessing from God himself from Jesus. And so Jesus blessed them. 
As he was blessing them, something amazing happened. Jesus began to rise into heaven. He began to lift off the ground and ascend before their very eyes into the sky. Gravity wasn't holding him down anymore. He was lifting off the ground and rising upwards. It was an amazing sight. And the disciples watched him ascend into the sky until he disappeared behind a cloud and they couldn't see him anymore. Suddenly, two men dressed in white came and stood beside the disciples as they were gazing upward. They were angels. And they said, Why do you stand here looking into the sky? Jesus, who is going up to heaven to be with his Father, will come back again in the same way. That meant that one day Jesus would come back again in all his glory in the sky as a king, the savior of the world. Jesus was gone from his disciples now. He had returned to his father in heaven. The disciples walked back from the Mount of Olives. And even though they had watched Jesus ascend into heaven and go away. And even though maybe they longed to go with him and be with him, they knew now that they had a mission. And they knew that they would not be alone because they believed that Jesus would send the Holy Spirit as he said he would. And so they went back to Jerusalem and they waited. They waited to receive that gift, the power of the Holy Spirit. But as they waited, their hearts were full of joy and they praised God together continually and they prayed. Well, when I hear that story, I wonder what the disciples were thinking when they saw Jesus ascend into heaven that day. I wonder why Jesus chose to let the disciples watch him go back up into heaven in that way. How glorious for them to see that. What do you wonder? Well, friends, Jesus has not left us alone either. He speaks to us powerfully through the Bible, his word. And when we believe in him, he promises that we too will have his presence, the Holy Spirit living inside us, giving us the power that we need to live for Jesus and to tell others about him. Would you pray with me? Dear Jesus, thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to live inside us. Give us the power to trust and obey you. Help us to have courage to tell others about you. In your name, amen. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you have a special week and I will see you again soon.